Hi, welcome to Chemie PD of Chemistry classes for 12th standard. So, unit 1 metallurgy lab. This session I am going to discuss about the various vapor phase methods which are used for refining a impure metal. First, let me discuss about the principle. First, let us see what is the principle behind vapor phase method. Whereas in vapor phase method, the impure metal, what we are going to refine is first made to react with a suitable chemical region. The condition here, the chemical region what you use should react with only the metal, not with the impurity. Then as a result of that, that metal will form a volatile metal compound. So once the impure metal is treated with a suitable region, the metal alone will react with a suitable region and forms a volatile metal compound, leaving behind the impurities in non-volatile state. So metal compound being a volatile, it can be easily separated from non-volatile impurities. Then in the next step, the volatile metal compound is subjected to thermal decomposition. It is subjected to or thermal decomposition, which means it is heated at some other high temperature. As a result of that, the decomposes and giving pure metal. So this is the basic principle behind vapor phase method. I think you are able to follow the principle. In pure metal, first we treat with suitable region. For a volatile metal compound, we are getting impurity non-volatile or cone. This is separated from impurity. Then the volatile metal compound are thermally decomposed from above. We are getting pure metal. The unwanted portion will be removed off from the metal compound. Okay. Actually, we have two different vapor phase methods. The first one is uh, Mons process. This is also called as carbonyl method. Just remember it. Okay. Because here in this method, the metal carbonyl is metal is made into a carbonyl compound. That's why it is also called as a carbonyl method. This, this can be also called as hydride method. The Mons process can be considered as even a hydride method also. Hydride method also, there probably the metal will form a hydride compound, just like this. Okay, right. Now, uh, metals such as nickel, iron, generally refined by Mons process. So first what we do is, we take the impure metal, then that impure metal is treated with uh, carbon monoxide gas. It is treated with carbon monoxide gas at a temperature about 350 Kelvin. So now what will happen is only the nickel metal, only the nickel metal will react with carbon monoxide and uh, forms a complex compound, a volatile complex compound like this, which is called as nickel tetracarbonyl. The name of this compound that is NiCO four times a yeah, co volatile compound, which is called as nickel tetracarbonyl, which is uh, vo volatile in the sense which can be easily evaporatable substance. Whereas the impurities are in non-volatile state. But now the non-volatile impurity and the volatile metal carbonyls are separated by heating. Then the next stage, the volatile metal carbonyl is heated at a high temperature above 460 Kelvin. So that this decomposes giving the pure form of the nickel, nickel solid in pure form. Uh, whereas the carbon monoxide portion, CO portion will be released out as carbon monoxide gas. So this is a very simple vapor phase method, what we call it as Mons process. Here we use carbon monoxide, so you are getting metal carbonyl, so it, it can be considered as a carbonyl method. In the place of carbon monoxide, sometimes we use even hydrogen gas also, so that the metal will be converted into a hydrogen compound, what we call it as metal hydride. The second case it can be called as a hydride method. Suppose if iron is refined by the same process, like nickel, iron also forming a carbonyl compound, there it forms iron pentacarbonyl of formula Fe CO five times. That is the difference between nickel and iron. Nickel is forming nickel tetracarbonyl CO four times. If you use iron in the place of nickel, probably you get an iron compound of formula Fe CO five times. What do you call it as iron pentacarbonyl? Okay, right. So very simple process, what you call carbonyl method or Mons process. The second vapor phase method is nothing but Van Arkel method. It is almost similar to Mons process. Only difference in Mons process, impure metal we heat with carbon monoxide, whereas Van Arkel method, the impure metal is heated with iodine. That's only difference. In the place of carbon monoxide, we are using iodine in Van Arkel method. Generally, metals such as titanium zirconium. And this is why titanium, zirconium are generally refined by Van Arkel method. Okay, so let us see how the titanium is refined by Van Arkel process. 
as usual first step the impure titanium is uh, heated with iodine crystals at a temperature about 550 kelvin as said already volatile metal will react with iodine and forming a metal iodide a volatile metal iodide which is nothing but titanium tetra iodide ti i4 is nothing but titanium tetra iodide as usual the impurities will be in non volatile state okay so so that the volatile titanium tetra iodide is separated from the non volatile impurities actually this process we are supposed to carry out in a evacuated vessel we have to do in a evacuated vessel that is uh, empty vessel that is this process has to be carried out in absence of air so, so already we have discussed the absence of air or presence of some inert gases are only to avoid formation of the metal oxide okay then but now uh, after completion of first step the volatile titanium tetraiodide is separated from impurity next that volatile metal iodide is heated at a high temperature about 1800 kelvin 1800 kelvin now this compound undergoes thermal decomposition okay so it decomposes giving a uh, pure form of titanium pure form of titanium whereas this iodine portion will be released out as iodine vapors now the second step that is thermal decomposition of titanium tetraiodide only we have to do in presence of tungsten filament so uh, as a result of this process the pure form of titanium is getting deposited over the tungsten filament so that you can collect it from the pure metal can be collected from the surface of tungsten filament okay then along with the pure metal we are getting iodine vapors isn't it that is cold and uh, that iodine can be reused for the uh, further process okay right. so this is the second uh, vapor phase refining method what we called as van method okay. right. that's all thank you